Hey guys, welcome to part 17 of Let's Play Sonic Unleashed on the Wii. In the last part, we started off the Werehog levels for... At a... That place. This place. <laughs> I'm pointing at the TV screen, in case you can't tell. Oh no, it's... Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh good start. Good start. <laughs> I was pressing A, you can hear that. I'm recording this. I. You could hear me pressing A, right? I was tapping it. It's not a quiet controller. <laughs> It's not a quiet controller. Yeah, we started off these levels, and I think I got... I was a little bit overexcited. You know, like a kid who had... He's had a bit too much sugar. When I record these, I'm usually quite tired, because it's after work, and it's late at night, and I won't bore you with the details, but I'm usually quite tired. So in order to actually be like... Sound like I care? <laughs> That's not the right way of phrasing it. But in to order to sound interesting... You know, in my heart right now, I just want to be like, Sonic and Ishta. Oh, I got a. There's something over there. I think I'm gonna jump over. There. Oh, there's the switch. Let's just hit the switch. That's how I want to talk. If somebody went up to me and wanted to have a conversation, that's how I would sound like. That's how I would speak. Is this a time limit thing? All oh, right. Uh, off we go then. Hey, cool. But yeah, that's how I want to speak. So sometimes I have to make myself sound interesting. And I think that can result in a bit of silliness, a bit of uh, overreacting. Because, <laughs> yeah, those levels were bad, the controls were terrible, I did have a rough time. But maybe I went too far. Maybe I was too critical. Like I already said, the music is amazing. Are you hearing this? It's so good. It's so good. Um, There's still a timer. Oh, 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 am I going to make it? Yes, I am. There's still a timer going on at the moment. I don't know what that's for. I just pulled a switch. Hang on, we're doing it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay, okay, I just respawned here. That's cool. Well, the timer stopped. I'm really confused. I'm, I'm just really confused. I tried to... Was I meant to crouch? Is there a crouch? Is there a Peter Crouch in this game? I, did, I wasn't aware of that. I think I was meant to crouch. Alright, can I just... No, I'm not here yet. Okay, cool. What am I doing? What is this? This is all very kind of confusing. I'm just a little bit confused. Right. So now I'm here. And I, I can go to this. Okay, cool. Alright. This isn't that confusing, but I just don't want to, just don't want to mess up, you know? We don't, we don't want to return to that place that I got to last time. I want to keep positive. Like I said, the music's nice. If I just focus on the music and make that the goal to just listen to this music, I really want to actually like download this track, like this song. Oh, that looks like a bombable wall if I've ever seen one. Oh, that's just, oh yeah, let's just punch this. Come on, let's just get, there we go, tons of rings. What a great day. But yeah, I think I might legitimately download this song. Oh, good. Is this a unique boss? Because honestly, I'm not that bothered. You can keep the rings. I don't... I, I have no... No desire to fight an optional boss. Alright, well, here we go. I guess we're fighting an optional boss. No intentions of doing this. Okay, I'm just a little... A little bit trapped. A little, let's get out of the way. Let's get out of the way of that. But no, I did, did not want to do this at all. That guy's going mental with the electric. Alright, well the fat guy's dead, so that's good. Oh no. Oh no, these guys seem to be a little bit tougher. <laughs> like, actually just tougher than the normal boss. Alright, that makes sense. Cool, why not? I hope we get something good for this. It, it has to be something kind of decent. Because all we got were, like, 50 rings. But rings don't mean anything in this game. It's just health, so... Alright, well... And Tay, so that's, that's cool. Okay. Kill you! Kill you! That guy's stuck on pots. That's cool. I respect his style, <laughs> I guess. I guess that's fine. Right, what do I get? What's the... I get to leave! What a waste of my life! What a waste of my life! I guess I got experience? Well, who cares about experience? And now we're just back to the... Oh no, now we've got to do another fight. Okay, cool. That's so very strange. 
We haven't ran into that concept though, like the concept of optional bosses like this. Oh good, they're, they're introducing more stun wizards. Before I was being stunned in that last battle, it was really quite irritating. So I'm glad this is now just a concept. A concept that is now just being introduced. I was trying to throw that guy. Trying to throw him. There we go. Throw him. Boom. Cool. Cool. There we go. I'm not going to get annoyed. But I really, really wish they did not introduce stun wizards. That would be great. <laughs> that would be just, just terrific. If I could just stick to my button mashing. Oh, no. I've been, I've been knocked down. Let's go grab these rings. God, we got a stupid amount of rings for this section. Although it is quite... Oh, I just missed. I just missed. That's cool. That's cool. Sorry if I'm just like... <laughs> not talking about anything too interesting here. I, I'm just trying to like maintain control. Just trying to keep it like calm-ish. Relatively calm. But when they throw new concepts like wizards that can just stun you. And you got to like just wait. Waiting is not fun. It's just not fun. And it, it's just not something I want to see. And I'm very disappointed in this game. Very disappointed. No, you don't. That's my point. What was I missing out on? Force. Not enough force collected. I just don't go for the force. I just don't bother. It just seems like a waste of time. I know there's upgrades, but... Whatever. It's fine. Secret document. Wicked, I guess. I should read those. I should really read those, because I don't know what they could possibly be. The story's relatively simple here, as I've already explained. I know there's the whole Dark Gaia stuff going on, but even that, like, what would the secret documents even be? And I can't check them here. Can't check them here. Guess i got to go to Pickle's house and just pick his brain. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Going to be one of those. <laughs> one of those days. Uh, not, too, uh, not too funny, but... Uh, I'm going to laugh anyway. At least we get the music again. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, I think I will legitimately download this track. It just seems very Final Fantasy-ish. Which is strange, because that's something that people said about Sonic 06, and I completely agree. People said about Sonic 06, it's like, oh, it's very, like... A, it, this feels more like Final Fantasy, the story and the setting, than Sonic. But they didn't seem to, like, take that away. Like, the setting of this game is still in, like... Come, just come back here, please. The setting of this game is still very real world ish. And the music, I would say, is very Final Fantasy ish. Like, so they didn't, like, give up on that. <laughs> they really liked the idea of moving towards a Final Fantasy kind of direction. They just also introduced Chip. So, compromise. It's always a good thing. That's, that's something I say. And, it, and we'll always say. Are these new enemies? I don't like them. What is it? Do? Just get. There we go. Let's pick you up and just kill you. I don't. I don't care for you. They're just bouncing. What's the point in those enemies? We already got like small kind of enemies that just float around. Those literally float around. Oh, you know what this looks like? This Rayman 2! You know? That one part in Rayman 2? No? Alright, whatever. Don't go in the spikes. Yeah, I've learned this trick. I've done this before, you see. Ah, oh, the wonderful night sky. But yeah, this is like Rayman 2. Where you gotta, I think you gotta use the hover to go up. <laughs> you know that one section. When you use the hover to go up. There's not many in Rayman. So that is definitely a very good description. <laughs> when trying to describe a particular part. I think it's early on. I think it's early on. Just stop trying to explain it. You even know or you don't at this point. And you're either bored of watching me fight these guys or you're not. That's something else that needs to be mentioned as well. Definitely. I still haven't quite figured out what this region is. Uh, because we're now on trees. It, this seems very... South America? I'm going to go South America. Because South Americas have, like, the Amazon and everything like that. Because look at this. We're in, like, a... It, this is more like a wood than a jungle, though. Like... If you look at the trees, it, they, they look more like trees from a wood. But the actual kind of leaves and branches look like something from a jungle. And the waterfall, like, it's like... It's like if the people who made Kingdom Hearts made the Tarzan level, but didn't really try. <laughs> if they just didn't really put that much effort into it. That's what it kind of reminds me of. 
or a little bit of Twilight Princess, but that's just because the textures are kind of the same. How did they like get away with doing textures like this? Like, just look at the tree. Like, look what I'm standing on. That texture is horrible. And it's something they started doing in the N64, like with 3D textures. They would just have a wall and then just make this like murky, weird looking texture. And that is just meant to be like a wall or something. But the N64, you could kind of get away with it because it was very early on. But like, they, I, I don't think they do it anymore. But even with Wii games like this, even some 360 and PS3 games, I want to say, do it. Just have like a big horror. Oh, come, don't. Please don't die. <laughs> Thank you. Just have this big horrible texture. But then I guess I don't know what the alternative would be. Have a good texture? I don't know. I really don't know. I've gotten to another very weird point again, haven't I? <laughs> I'm talking about textures. I'm not an artist. I'm not a programmer. I know nothing about how to <laughs> create the visual look of a video game. People, like, gamers like to pretend like they know. Gamers like to pretend like they know how to make games, when in all honesty they don't have a single clue. Like, I kind of work in the game industry, well, I work in the game industry, but I don't make games, so I'm not going to claim like I do. <laughs> like, there's people who do, but all gamers, it's just the arrogance, you know? I think there's arrogance in every single, like, entertainment. Arguably music is the only one where that arrogance doesn't exist as much. Like with films and with television, but I think video games is the worst for that arrogance of a fan will watch something and then will talk about it like they could do better. And I'm saying that you're not allowed to criticise. I love a good criticism. I'm criticising this game all the time, but in all reality, I could not make anything nearly this good. And it's something that I don't think gamers kind of acknowledge. Or they don't act like that is the truth. Like they kind of think secretly, yeah, if I if I made my own game, <laughs> it would be amazing. Like they secretly think that. But oh well, what are you what are you going to do? What are you kind of got to do? Play some more Sonic Unleashed, I suppose. Oh good, this looks fun. Press X. Cool, I made it. Nice. I still haven't figured out what the point in lives in this game is. Like the most Oh, no, I, no, that was me. I messed that up. I really did. The, the baffling thing about this is that when you have lives, it kind of implies that you can get more. I have not been able to get one extra life in this whole game. I'm, in the 360 version, I'm pretty sure you could. So I'm not too sure why in this Wii version you can't get extra life. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so annoying. Just so annoying. So unfun. He had to hold X. You see, when you're up like this, you don't have to hold X, so I let go. But when you go down, you got to hold X. That's the that's the video game. That's the video game, folks. Uh, but what what was I saying? Oh bloody hell! What was I saying? Gamers, arrogance, Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> Oh, I hate this so much. I hate when this happens. The game just like, oh, oh, no, dead again. Good. Lives. There's no extra lives. That's something that people complain about straight away in Generations, which I think was great. People were like, well, once you collect 100 rings, you don't get an extra life. <laughs> like, why not? And it's such a good question. If you're going to have lives, right? If you're going to try and be traditional, I think lives are extremely redundant. Extremely redundant. And I think you can... Sometimes they can be good, and sometimes you've got to have game overs to be punished, sure. I will acknowledge that. But in general, they're just like relics of how games used to be. To try and make them artificially hard. Like, in general. Rayman is a great example of platformers that of a platforming series that doesn't have lives. Apart from Rayman 1, of course, but... And Rayman 2? Rayman Origins, anyway. Rayman Origins Rayman Legends. They, they're great games, they're challenging games, they're really fun platformers don't have lives or game overs, but they're still really challenging and intense. But it's apparently much better to make a game that's easier and less interesting. Oh, that's just buggering off over there. Come back. There we go. Thank you, good sir. Uh, yeah, apparently it's easier or it just seems lazy to instead make a game that is kind of hard, but what you're actually doing isn't that hard. It's more you don't know what to do. Or you've, you're doing it for the first time, which makes it hard. You know what I mean? 
Like, you, on you only mess up because you haven't done it before. Which is, like, you know, it's fine. That's generally accepted, but that's the only reason. So, like, that's the only reason why lives would be relevant. Because, yeah, lives will kill... If you die too many times because you haven't done something before, then a game over will punish you for that. But in Rayman, you learn how to do it, and that's part of the experience. And it's very smooth. But lives are just, like, artificial punishments because you, it's the first time you're doing something. And I know it sounds odd, because of course it is. Any game you play, it's the first time you're doing something when you come to any part or section of a game. But it's it's different. Lives is punishing you for going through that learning experience rather than allowing it. Game over! So, there we go. See, like that. That was artificial as all hell. Oh, please don't say I have to do those other levels. Please just let me go back. I'll just have to end of the part, I think, if I have to do that again. No, I can't do no. I don't I wanna to go to bed though. I don't I don't really care, honestly. We'll see. We'll see. See, when I turn off the console in between levels, and then I go back and do all this, because it doesn't start me automatically in levels, when I do this, it warps me back. So this should also warp me back to the level I was on. Again, it's just artificial time wasting. That's this is all this is. What level is this? What is it? Heavenly runes? Ah, oh, uh, is this it? Uh, yes, this. Oh, thank God for that. There was no way in hell I was going to go through all that bollocks again. No way in hell. Just wasn't going to do it. Now we got to do this amazing uh, section again. Have I already talked about sidling? <laughs> I. I feel like I have, but just in case I haven't, why did Cyberlink become so big for a few years there? No, I definitely talked about this before, because of the Wind Waker and everything. Don't, don't spike me. Cool. Alright, this is going much smoother though. Much smoother. But no, so I guess just to clarify the point I was saying about punishing the player for, like, because they just haven't done it before, which is why they don't know, it's part of the challenge should be you figuring it out and then executing it. Like, that's the challenge, right? Are you able to figure this out and then are you able to execute it? Not, you don't know what to do, so you die and you restart now. Oh, oh come on. Oh, bollocks to this game. Bollocks to this game. It's terrible. Oh, it's such a basic control scheme thing. I think that's why it makes me so angry and just annoyed and irritated. It's so basic that... I must have already said this before, but it's just one of those where if anyone played this game before it came out, if anyone played these Werehog levels, they would tell you, yeah, the controls suck. That's what I don't understand about bad controls in games. Like, if you play test it, you will find out. People will tell you. People will tell you these controls are bad. So either they didn't play test it, like when a game is bad, you know, either they didn't play test it, or they did and were so arrogant. They were so arrogant in their ability to make games and their opinions. The producers, the people just make it in general. Like, their arrogance meant they're saying like, oh, well, people are complaining about this, but what are you going to do? Because there were other ways to implement a run in this game. Rather than this bollocks. Like, look at this. It's awful. I, it's so bad. Oh, good. We don't have to do the boss again, I guess. That's, that's something. Hey, let's just beat you up. Take this and... Is there still some rings left? So let's go check the ring. No, no rings left. Okay, let's try again. I'm not sure if... I don't think I actually lost a life when I fell off, which is interesting. Yay, he died. But yeah, that's what I kind of think with some games. Like, some of it just has to be arrogance or stupidity when you play it and you're, you're just like, this is wrong. This is wrong. There's, like, personal opinion and there's people who would say about the controls of this game, just come over here! just time wasting just wasting my time there's some people who will say oh the controls aren't that bad you get used to them they oh, Jesus Christ like Jesus Christ some people say they're not that bad but they are that bad if you can get used to them they're that bad that's that's how games are you shouldn't have to get used to them 
Unless there's a benefit to going through that process. Like, there are certain games where you get used to them, but it's like a challenging, like, control scheme, but then it's rewarding once you get used to it. Like, if you're gonna have to get used to something in the game, it ultimately has to be rewarding. Like, it just has to... What am I doing with this? Yeah, it ultimately has to be rewarding. Like, it has to make sense. It has to have a payoff. Getting used to the controls in this game is no payoff. It's just, you might hate yourself less. I don't know what this is. I don't know what I'm doing. I... I... Just stop. Just stop it. Is that a block? Is there a block? There's a bloody block in this game. Ah, oh, Chip kit that stum, didn't he? I guess I unlocked it using the force. <laughs> so, oh, well, if I unlocked it using the force, then what am I complaining about? Of course there's a block in this game. I guess I'm the stupid one. Right. So now what? What? I, oh, okay, I think I see. Okay, so we gotta put it over there. And then I can run and jump using these great controls. There we go, okay. Okay, that's fine. Nope, 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 not fine. Not fine at all. Not fine in the slightest. But yeah, that's, that's, I think that's what. Arrogance in general in people really rubs me the wrong way. Like, it's just something I can't handle when somebody's arrogant. So when I play a game and I see just like these arrogant decisions or what feels like an arrogant decision it just drives me mental and I know that might sound silly because it is a little bit silly but that's just what I see with certain games like certain games I hate it just feels like arrogance of whoever made this was wrong like sometimes I think you can just be objectively kind of wrong about it you know with little things of what is this what is this bollo why am I like you can't just this game is so bad. Right, I have to go get that health. I just have to go get the health. Come on. Don't. Oh, you teleported. Good. Maybe, I, I guess I should try this block. But it's, it's like, it's so not geared towards a block. Oh, my blocking did actually work. Okay. All right. Stupid that I have to unlock the block. <laughs> I, I'm annoyed, but I kind of like the fact that that rhymed. Stop moving. Christ. Just... Okay, can I... No, I can't pick up the wasps. Okay, let's just get this done. I, I'm kind I'm done. I'm, I'm kind of done. I got to this place again. Twice in a row. I got to this place again. I'm just done with this game. It's terrible. I'm, I'm really sorry about this. I Next game I LP is going to be like a game I love. I don't know what it's going to be, but it has to be a game I love. Spec Ops The Line gave me so much trouble with certain sections because the gameplay's bad. And yet again, I'm playing another game where the gameplay's bad. And I'm sick of it, honestly. I'm supposed to enjoy this hobby, not this bollocks. <laughs> like, yeah, so look forward to that. But I'm committed, though, by the way. I'm, I, I am committed. To, oh, bloody hell. You're... This is a joke. This is a complete joke. So like, now I ha like have to use the block, I guess. Okay, hit each other. Here we go. Do damage to each other. Go on. Go on. Go on then. Okay, let's get out of the way of that. Please. No? I swear that was in the 360 version. I swear that was. Because look, they're just grouped together. They've just instantly grouped together. What am I supposed to do? I guess I just got to chip away. Come on. Nope. No. Oh, oh he hit me anyway. This game's so crap. Right, let's throw. A... There we go. Take that. Cool. Let's just okay. Get out of the way. Because I can't risk being anywhere near them. Because the hitbox is so random. No, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh. Get out of the way, please. Right. Okay. Got a lot of good damage. A lot of good damage there. Well happy with that. Now they're just grouped together again, making it really hard to hit them. Right, because I can't take another hit. I can't take another hit. Look at them pricks. Okay, move, move, move. Jesus Christ. Okay, they're going to do that. That would be so good if they actually hurt each other. That would make my life so much easier. But it's really hard to see when they're attacking because they're standing right next to each other. Again, just that, just that developer arrogance. 
That's all this is. All this is. You just didn't play it. You just didn't play it. Alright, get out of the way. Or lack of talent. <laughs> That's another thing, right? Like, it could, oh, get out of the way, get out of the oh. way. Right, I'm done. I'm done for... No, I'm still... Why, why, why? I had no health. I had no health. Why was I still alive? What was that noise? Alright, I'm done for today. Let's, uh... Let's regroup. I can't... I keep getting to this place. I'm playing this game. I keep getting here. Well, I just hate it. It's crap. It's just crap. Even if you can excuse some of its faults, it's ultimately crap. And the sad part is, I've had a ton of fun with this game during this LP. I've had so much fun at certain sections. Some of it's been really cool and been really fun to play. This is just crap. This is just wasting my time. I only have so many years on this planet. I can't be wasting it with this crap. Oh, oh God. Right. Next time, let's play Sonic Unleashed. This again. <laughs> it's going to be me playing this game. I'm going to get overly annoyed and I'm going to hate it. Unless there's some Sonic levels, or the Unleash, or the like, the Werehog ones are actually decent, which will never happen. So anyway, I've been on some 23. I'll see you next time for more fun. God. <laughs>